Hi, and welcome Cohort 54 to your graduation commencement ceremony. So sorry that we had to do it virtually and couldn't do it in person, but welcome friends, family, and graduates. Good afternoon, and thank you for attending this special occasion and celebrating the achievement of this graduating class. First and foremost, I want you all to know how incredibly happy and proud I am of each and every one of you. As I have watched each of you go through this rigorous process of reaching your goal to be a nurse, I have seen the tears, the frustrations, and even at times the hopelessness tends to peak out. I too, as an Angela student, also know those feelings very well. But what is amazing is your resilience in mastering your talents and reaching your final destination in this journey. I want you to know that not just myself, but also my colleagues, your fellow classmates, and even your family and friends knew that you could succeed. And now that you have, I am sure I can speak for everyone. We are now ready to watch you soar and show the world what you can do. Graduates, I want you to take this time to reflect on this major accomplishment that you have completed. We all come from different backgrounds, fresh out of high school, single mothers or fathers, or even those that decided to change their careers later in life. Be proud of how far you have come. Hold your head up high and just know that the sky is the limit in your nursing career. Now some of you may know already what areas you want to work in, but others may not be so sure. That's okay. But what I do want you to know is just from watching you grow in your knowledge is that you are all going to be amazing nurses in whatever field you decide to be in. Nursing is all about learning new things every day, but also being compassionate and caring to strangers. You're gonna find times you rejoice with your patients when they recover, and you may cry with your patients when they feel hopeless. Your actions may not always need to be spoken, but the comfort of holding their hands during their time of need is all that they may need. A quote that always inspires me, and it says, too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest accomplishment, or even the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Now after today, it is a time to focus and strengthen your knowledge as you get ready for the biggest test yet, your NCLEX. Remember everything that you have learned over the last 10 months. You have the knowledge, now you just need to refine that information and pass your test. I truly believe in each and every one of you that not only are you going to be successful, but you will do it with a smile on your face. And finally, I just wanna personally say thank you to the, this graduating class. You have helped me far more than I think that I've helped you. We started this journey together in term one, then we moved over to term two together. You helped me gain more confidence in myself as I tried to help you gain yours. This class will always be special to me and I truly feel like a proud mama bear watching you go out and help to heal the world one smile at a time. So again, congratulations to the graduating class of Angelus Institute, August 2020. Hi everyone, just a quick message from your salutatorian. You know, we've all been working hard together and individually as a team to get to where we are today. Here we are completing school and moving on to bigger and better things. I don't think going into this from day one, we knew exactly just what we were getting into with all the hours long lectures, all the sleepless nights studying for all the exams. But you know, it, it all makes it worthwhile, especially seeing how far we've come. But now here comes the real test, where we put everything that we've learned to work. So from all of us, thank you to everyone that was a part of the journey to get us here. And here's to us passing our NCLEX and beginning our nursing careers and beyond. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Taylor Starr and I'm a graduate of Angeles Institute. Um, I wanted to first start off with what really got me interested in nursing was when I turned 18 and graduated high school, I started working as a caregiver. Um, you know, an 18 year old, you're still immature, you don't really know what to expect and nobody really knows where they want to go in life when you're 18. Um, but once I started working as a caregiver, I really found out that that was my passion and taking care of people is definitely something that I wanted to do for my lifetime. So I worked as a caregiver for a little while and then I found out it's possible to get a certified nursing assistant license. 
so I got that and I started working as a certified nursing assistant for about the past five or six years now. And I realized I don't want to stop there. You know, I want to keep going, pursue a nursing career. And what really pushed me into that was my great grandma. Her and I were really close. Uh, we were pretty much best friends. Our birthdays were three days apart. And she was always telling me up until the day she died, um, keep going, you know, don't stop here. She died last year of September and October, our program started. Um, so that was really good for me and good news to keep pushing and keep going forward. And I really do feel like she was with me the entire way. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what got me into nursing. And I'm really excited that we all made it. Cohort 54, we did it. We're here. Um, yeah, I really want to thank my grandparents for this. They, without them, I really don't think that I would have been able to be a graduate of nursing school at all. They definitely helped with my son. You know, I'm not the richest person in the world, nor do I come from a bunch of money. So going to school wasn't always, you know, in the back of my mind. But I talked to different counselors about it. And, you know, once I found out the different loans and financial aid that were available, it was really something that pushed me into going. So. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you to my teachers, uh, Miss Lisa and Miss Brandy. Uh, you know, you were with us the whole way, Miss Brandy. You know, you were Mama B. Um, I'll never forget you guys. Uh, also, Miss Adrian and Miss Marie. Uh, you guys really stuck with us through this whole COVID thing and doing everything at home. So, thank you so much. Um, blood, sweat, tears, vomit, and COVID. Uh, cohort 54 we did it uh, congratulations to everyone and thank you again for this opportunity greetings everyone my name is mary halverson i'm the assistant director of nursing here at angeles institute i'm extremely honored to be presenting the award to this graduating class to begin with we'll start off with the perfect attendance award this award is presented to students who have achieved perfect attendance during their time at Angeles Institute. This is an extremely ex extraordinarily difficult task to achieve as we have a very rigid attendance policy. So with great admiration, we present this award to the following students. Jocelyn Arbarca, Samantha Aranas, Martha Benitez Sanchez, Carla Fajardo, Lomeli, Samantha Keel, Melissa Keel, Rosalind Oyato, John Reynoso, and Alan Rosario. The next award is presented to those students who have excelled academically and have received an overall cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher. The first award is presented to our valedictorian. Alejandra Estantino. Next, we have our salutatorian, John Reynoso. The last award I will be presenting is the Award for Clinical Excellence. Clinical Excellence is awarded to those students identified by their clinical instructors as having displayed an exceptional bedside manner and a great level of compassion and positive energy with the patients they cared for. We present this award to Clinical Excellence Term 1. For our Term 1 Mar Laura rotation, our instructor Brandy Fry has selected Maritza Alvarez. She states, Maritza went above and beyond for not only her patients, but for her fellow classmates as well. She was always looking for new things to learn about and took advantage of every minute she was at clinical to experience new things. For our Term 1 Bixby rotation, our instructor Lisa Henderson has selected Taylor Stark. She says, Taylor Stark was always willing to help other classmates with tasks, always came with a smile on her face and a willingness to help her patients. She was attentive to their needs and ready to help any way she could. Taylor showcased so much kindness that is an, that is an extremely valuable asset to have as a future nurse. 
clinical excellence for term three. For our simulation satellite rotation, our instructor Patty Abrams has selected Rosalind Ollado. She states, Rosalind demonstrated patience and dedication to helping her patients, even though it was a simulation lab. She was able to apply materials learned in the classroom to successfully complete simulations. And now for a pinning ceremony. Upon entrance into the practice as a nurse, a graduate receives a nursing pin. Each school of nursing has its own pin with which the graduates are identified. It is tradition that someone who is presently a nurse pin the incoming nurse. This is the welcome into the profession of nursing. The nursing students will light their pen, symbolizing the flame of knowledge they have received and follow with recitation of the nursing pledge. I solemnly pledge myself in the presence of this assembly to do my best to deliver good quality care to all my patients. I will hold in confidence all personal matters coming to my knowledge in the practice of my profession. I will strive to do my duty to deliver comprehensive continuity of care and to educate my patients as to the prevention and treatment of illness. In full recognition of my responsibility as a patient advocate, I shall do my utmost to fulfill my obligation to protect my patients from harm. With loyalty, I, as a nurse, will devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. And now for the presentation of our graduates. Jocelyn Abarca, Maritza Alvarez, Samantha Aranas, Maribel Balaoro, Martha Benitez Sanchez, Alexandra Estentino, Carla Fajardo Lomeli, Melissa Keo, Samantha Keo, Lucille Oriel, Rosalyn Oyaro, John Reynoso, Alan Rosario, Angelica San, Taylor Stair, Jasmine White, the Angeles Institute graduating class of August 2020. Hi everybody. Congratulations on getting to this point. Please go out there, be wonderful nurses. We believe in you. You've got this. Welcome to the field. Take care of yourselves. Congratulations graduates. I just want you to know that I'm truly impressed and forever inspired by all of you. And honestly, it was, it was a pleasure to work in, with each and every one of you together as a group, one-on-one, -on -one, and um, you're all my favorite. Hi, and thank you for attending Andrews Institute Virtual Graduation Ceremony. I am so happy that you could attend. We are looking forward to you being nurses in the near future. Um, I, first of all, I'd like to say, I know it's been a tumultuous year with the COVID-19 and also just school in general, but you've made it. You've got here to the end and you've made it to graduation. Now you've got to study, study, study to pass the NCLEX. Otherwise, everything you did this year is for naught. Use student affairs. Come to us, we're a family. We want to see you, we want to help you any way we can to get through this, whether it be COVID-19 or just school in general. Come to us, let us help you so that you can become a nurse, your ultimate goal. We've enjoyed you here. We hope you enjoyed school here, but please, I can't reiterate enough how, uh, how much you need to how much you need to um, pass this uh, NCLEX in order to become a nurse. In closing, I'd also like to say um, thank you to all the parents, the friends, the loved ones that helped you throughout this situation. We greatly appreciate their help, as, as I'm sure you appreciated their help. And I got one more thing. Yay, you graduated! Congratulations. Have fun. Be safe out there. Thank you for attending Angela's Institute.
Babe, I just graduated. I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm gonna save your life. I'm gonna save your life. I'm gonna save. Wait, wait, wait. Do I take the NCLEX first? Babe, I, I don't need that energy right now. Babe, I just graduated. I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm gonna save your life. I'm gonna save your life. I'm gonna save. Wait, wait, wait. Do I take the NCLEX first? Babe, I, I don't need that energy right now. Babe, I just graduated. I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm gonna save your life. I'm gonna save your life. I'm gonna save. Wait, wait, wait. Do I take the NCLEX first? Babe, I, I don't need that energy right now.